I talk to farmers about micronutrients, many times I'll run into a micronutrient that a farmer hasn't even heard of and that he's certainly never applied on his farm. And that's certainly the case with our nutrient today, cobalt, that we're going to feature. If you don't know much about cobalt yet, chances are it's a nutrient that you could benefit from taking a look at a soil test to even find out if you have any cobalt. And if you've got livestock out there, that's of extreme importance for the livestock too. Okay, so here's the thing. On a standard soil test, is cobalt on there most of the time? No, it's not. How about in a standard tissue test? Nope, not on there either. So it's one of the things that you would need to request. As we start talking about cobalt, please understand, we believe soil pH is more important than cobalt. We believe that NP and K are more important, that sulfur is more important, that magnesium and calcium and uh, many other micronutrients are probably more important than cobalt. So where we're going with this and why we wanted to talk about this a little bit today is let's say you've done all these things, you've got tremendously high fertility levels, you've taken care of your drainage, you go, man, I'm just looking for, is there one other thing that I should be thinking about? Well, cobalt may be the answer for you. So if a cobalt reading is not standard on your soil test, you'll have to request one specially from your lab. This is something we've done on our farm in a few areas and a few fields, and we found levels so low they couldn't even detect them because it's something that we haven't been fertilizing for. In addition to soil tests, whether it's on your crop field or in your pasture, or plant tissue analysis, wherever you happen to get that, I would just tell you, take a look at how your livestock is doing. If you need supplements, for your livestock, that's telling you that your crop is short on micronutrients. So that could be certainly something like zinc maybe, or iron, but it also could be cobalt. Cobalt is tremendously important in livestock health, so this is something you can work with your nutritionist on, but if you're running a little short on cobalt in your livestock, well, it's pretty easy and fairly inexpensive to fertilize out in your field. Yes, there's some broadcast stuff you could do, maybe it's a cobalt sulfate or something like that, but also with cobalt in a number of different micronutrient blends now, well, that's what we're using on our farm, by the way, you can do some foliar feeding, you can put it in furrow at planting, you can put it in two by two at planting, so a lot of different ways to get cobalt out there. All I know is you don't need much. This isn't something you're gonna spend 10, 20, 30 dollars an acre on, but if you spent a few cents, it may be worth it for your crop and especially for your livestock. Getting the nutritional balance in your soil and in your crop is really important, but so is controlling our weed of the week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.